Good evening everybody, welcome to another tutorial. Today we're going to be demonstrating um, running programs off a network. Uh, so why would you do this? So there are multiple instances. The reason why you would do this is because um, sometimes you might have a single license but want, uh, got multiple computers. Uh, you can run that. Uh, you can run the same software off multiple computers. So that's what we're going to be showing. So without further ado, let's get into it. So this is the VDJ, uh, Infin uh, DJ Pro Infinity. Just to demonstrate, um, and this is also installed on the network. The software. So just to demonstrate the license. Um, there we go. Well, if we can see, it's got the DJ Pro Infinity. So um, I'm not going to be showing my um, the top because it's my information, but just to let you know. So this is fully activated. It runs off the network. So what you want to do now, uh, um, so so this is a full activated software. And what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, launch that same program, this, the same program, off this PC. So we're going to push uh, enter. But just to let you, uh, just to show you before, so here we go. So here's the software here. So this is the exact same software. So um, just to prove to you, um, if we go, if we will get out of this folder just to show you the directories. So here's the network locations. So this is the network storage. And if you go here, so this is where I've installed it here. And computer stuff and stored programs installed programs virtual DJ and this is where this program's running from so you've got the launcher file that's in the middle um, I've got all the documents backed up just so I can because um, um, how I've set this up is uh, I've, I've, I've got two different configuration settings so um, this is also full software as well just to demonstrate so uh, yes, let's go to settings. Let's go to settings and show you. Oh, sorry, I just need to get closer because I can't see properly. So let me show you. Um, so if we go to settings. Okay, sorry, I'm just going to pull. I'm just going to um, just point you over there. So now. If we have a look, we've got the same activation, DJ Pro Infinity. As I said, paid license. Um, so I can run a paid version of this on my um, network. So uh, this is, um, if I was to uh, use this as a guest computer, or even have guests come over with their computers, I can actually run this full version directly off my network. But if they were to... Um, they, if they were to uh, wanting to buy the software themselves, they would have to um, purchase that I'm not giving out my activation keys because it's only limited to certain computers, um, certain amount of computers. This way, as I said, I, I can uh, turn a single license software into a multi-license in a sense, but temporarily. Because you can only activate the software so many times. So, yep, this is just demonstrating how to run the exact same software on two computers. And this is the exact same file I launched on two computers. Um, and the other reason why um, I, uh, as I said, for the configuration settings, um, I actually DJ directly off the NAS server. So all my music is actually on the NAS server. It's not on the local hard drive of the computer. Uh, usually when this is, when I'm doing it on this, uh, this is on the local hard drive. So because this is the computer I take out. So the so these would have to be stored locally. But since this Windows 10 hasn't got much space on it as well, um, I still have my full library, but not having the... Uh, but having the um, the songs stored in a network location rather than on a um, rather than on the local hard drive where there's not enough space anyway for all the songs to fit. So yeah, just thought I'd demonstrate that. Um, and not all programs run fully from the network. It's only certain ones, so you got to be trial and and error when it comes to that. But um, pretty much what you do is um, um, I'll show you actually um, how to do it. So. Usually, I'll just close all that. Usually, when you right click uh, on a thing, so we'll, what we'll do is because I've actually got it installed on this PC, 
and I've actually got it installed on both PCs but I'm just showing it from the network usually what you can do is you go right click and then if you go to open file location and what you want to do is you want to copy all of this directory so this is all that consists in the virtual DJ directory there's no other directories but um, usually setup programs have more folders and directories so if we were to just quickly look at Audacity before I go because I've got Audacity on the network um, and we'll just quickly launch it just to show you that it works so go to the network drive, computer stuff, installed programs so now we'll go Audacity, so if we go to into Audacity um, you'll see that the folder structure is a little bit different see we've actually got folders and files so this these this whole file and folder setup is directly for um, Audacity but you want to look for the launcher file so here's the launcher file here so if you go here um, so all the rest of the files uh, they are for um, Audacity to run so we're just going to run this and now we are going to be running Audacity off the network imagine that so Audacity is a free software it's, it's a free or, or audio editing software um, so but we're going to be running it from the network rather than on the local hard drive so we'll give this a minute to boot here we go and bam there we go so now we've got audacity running directly from the network look at that now that's not installed on this computer like audacity is actually not installed on this computer um, but we're running it from the network so now I can use audacity like it's installed on the computer but it's just installed on the network so as I said you can run software without installing it so that's a good thing I do it for gaming as well so I've got PC games so I can run PC games directly from my network I don't have to uh, run I don't have to install it then run them so this is just demonstrating um, uh, um, having installed programs on the network and launching them and the benefits of it so without further ado you've been listening to Robbie T I just thought I'd show another tutorial and um, everyone have a good day, and until next time, cha-cha!